can't help noticing bamboo scaffoldings in Hong Kong. They seem to grow out of nowhere and are suspended up tall buildings. They are particularly awe-inspiring for maintaining neon signs that reach far out into the streets. For all these death-defying feats, the basic tools and materials are deceptively simple, namely the thick bamboo poles, the thin bamboo poles, and plastic ties. This simplicity is obvious by comparing the over one dozen kinds of connectors used in metal pipe scaffoldings with the simple knots made from plastic ties used in bamboo scaffoldings. Let's compare the poles. Steel poles, which are eight times heavier than bamboo poles. Bamboo scaffoldings are not only good for small jobs, they are also used for big jobs on high-rise buildings and non-square structures. In India, small tree trunks are often used with ropes as ties. Cut lumber is also used in some countries, but bamboo poles are straighter and lighter. Bamboo scaffoldings can anchor upon all sorts of existing structures. A worker can handle a bamboo pole by himself, but certainly not a steel bar of the same size. Length for length, metal pipes cost seven to eight times as much as bamboo poles. Although the useful life of bamboo poles is only about two to three years, bamboo is more flexible than steel. It can be slightly bent to fit building contours. An engineer estimates that erecting a bamboo scaffold is six times faster than other types of scaffolding. And dismantling it is twelve times faster. Mm -hmm.